Hi everybody, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with our next number that is number 3. Number 3 is 12, 21, 30 of any month. 3, 12, 21, 30 of any month. So number 3 people, let's see what we have for you in 2022. And I am going to be reading from Jan to June and June to December. And after that I will do the relationship reading. Okay. So, let's see what we have for number 3. Number 3 from Ju from Jan to June is a time of making choices. I think there is going to be a lot of uh, options in front of you regarding work. Okay. Uh, this might be coming from maybe people you already know, your colleagues, your friends. There is a lot of change. But I feel number 3 people, you are not moving forward. Reason is that maybe you are... Um, feeling scared of circumstances that if you have a change of job, change of place, change of whatever you want the change, the options in front of you, you are feeling very scared. Somewhere the fear is coming out of the fact, you know, that your circumstances are not right and so on. I feel there is a lot of uh, energy of recovering from old issues in the first half. You are going to recover, recover from lot of old problems in the first half of this year 2022 you're going to have a lot of money investment eventually so i feel the first three months are very crucial for you and the first three months you're going to have money in your hand but at the same time you're going to overcome all obstacles you are going to get a lot of offers also okay offers coming from friends family and so on this is your work reading and um so, I'll advise you something, number three people. There's a lot of offers coming your way. There's a lot of changes happening in your life. However, some way you are still, you still have one foot in the past. So, what happens is that when somebody comes in a nice way to you, offering you something, you tend to do, ah, I don't want. No, no, this happened before. Or you just tell that person off very arrogantly. Please do not do that because this is the divine blessing that is coming to you. A lot of healing coming to you. A lot of changes that are coming to you in the year of 2022. So do not shun that away because of your past experiences and do not be very arrogant because that is where the problem will start. So just be very very humble and nice and try to understand that the universe is, is giving you good things. There are a lot of changes going to happen in the first half regarding your work. There is uh, new jobs coming. There is money. People who are into business money investment coming. So just believe in it and follow it properly because believing in it is the only thing. If you are stuck with circumstances, circumstances will change. If you think positively, okay? And uh, I feel it's a very good, first, very good six months, okay? Now, let's see the next six months. Next six months also, a lot of opportunities, new beginnings. Um, follow your heart. I think just follow your heart in the next six months. It's going to do good. But at the same time, I feel you're going to trigger some kind of inner child issue. Here. One sec, just give me a minute. Let me check. This is more to do with your relationship. The second half is will be more to do with your relationships. We are going to do the relationship reading. Um, somewhere, some things that you wanted to build in relationships around you, somewhere you wanted to be more ind independent or maybe uh, some kind of work you were doing around your friends or colleagues or something moving forward. I think some relationship issue at work might happen. So be careful. Like I said, don't be too arrogant or upfront. Um, but it will get better. It will happen from June to December. Say around October it might happen. Okay. However that whatever will happen will teach you something and you will move forward and make more money later. That is fine. But some issue will come around October. And October is going to be a little up and down relationship wise. But then you will overcome that also. So no issues as long as you are overcoming. That is the thing. Uh, take care of your health. Okay, you might trigger some kind of fear or frustration from inside because that is a trigger coming from your childhood issue. Okay, but that also you will overcome soon. So that will be a little uh, from mid-September to mid-October and little relationship issue. But it will all get over by then and then by November everything is going to be fine. So 
for from june to mid september is going to be a good time then from september mid september to mid october is going to be a little up and down time so just take care otherwise money energy is fine businesses are going to do fine people in jobs are going to do fine so everything is fine so nothing to worry let's see what we have in your relationship now relationship 2022 okay so relationship 2022 number 3 okay again i feel that i feel there's a lot of throat chakra activation here uh somewhere some kind of faith and relationship is going to be restored in the month of 2020 i feel that way. a lot of solar sacral chakra energy so somewhere you are refusing to receive love or relationship because in the past whatever you have been detached from a lot of things and uh, year in the month in the year of 2022 you are going to believe in love somewhere you will come out of your confusion that whether you should be there or you should should not be there okay there are options coming people who are single for them people who are already already in committed relationship maybe few are going to move on from their past relationship and uh, you know go towards something new something better okay uh, people who whose relationship were toxic and too much control was around their relationship they will also move on singles will have a lot of options okay lot of heart chakra energy again sacral chakra throat chakra i feel that whatever loneliness you have gone through in the past one or two years i don't know why i'm getting two years you are going to come out of that and coming out of that and putting efforts towards your relationship maybe a new one or an old one depends on each one situation you are going to learn a lot about relationship in 2022 and there is see somewhere i'll tell you everything is going to blossom everything is going to be fine but there is a lot of releasing time also maybe lot of past toxicity will be released in this year lot of past toxic relationships will be released some way your fears might crop up in the year 2022 you might feel little anxiety and you know ungroundedness because you are stepping into a new time okay you're stepping into a new time and that actually ungrounds us because that reminds of us of all the past bad things that have happened to us but remember number 3 you are going to have a transformation time and good things are coming to you and you need to believe in them because holding on to your fears because you are i can see holding on to your fears is going to be really toxic for you so when you're coming into a good time a better time so as much as you can try to release your fears and to release your fears you need to work on them first point out and try to locate what are those fears try to work on them write down connect the dots and then you will know what the core issue is once you know what the core issue is see the first step to solving a problem is knowing the problem locating the problem see already located the problem the problem is going to be solved so don't worry you will come out of it number 3 and 2022 is going to teach you a lot about relationships okay so that's all uh i hope you'll like my reading and see you with more videos to come new year with new year i'm going to get a lot of more new topics and don't forget to subscribe to my channel press the bell icon call me for paid appointments only email me for paid appointments only and follow me on twitter and instagram and facebook i put a lot over there i've been putting shorts also whatever videos i put on instagram i'm putting it on shorts and that's all for today goodbye god bless bye bye